All right there, BBPN and guests there. By popular demand, support, and donation there, we've got ourselves a double header. Whew. All right, we'll get through this one somehow, eh? Because all that stuff's starting to kick in here. Chaos Invitational. It is now second matchup. It's WCW versus the BBPN here. Match number four is on its way. Ah, oh God, it's Williams. Fuck! Oh, why? Why is it Williams now? Ah, oh, you're a cunt, Williams! Go back to Millwall! Oh, fucking West Ham supporters. Alright, let's take a look here. So, WCW's come in here with their Necro Firm. BBPN here, of course, being represented by the Emperor himself there. Yeah, and it is the Norse team. Now, Norse team do have at least one reserve coming in here. Necro, as you can see, no reserves. Don't worry, they're going to try and correct that really quick from what I understand here. Not giving it away. I was just told they correct this oversight very quickly. Awkward. <laughs> I love to see him do it, and then I thought about it and went, Oh. That would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, well, let's take a look here. Norse coming in here. Three rerolls, both carry here. I don't know why the fuck anyone would cheer for them. Of course, they've got a bribe, so you know what game they're going to play. They've got two gallons of booze and ethanol. All right, can someone actually go and get the ball? My spidey sense is tingling. Uh, 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 yeah, it's tingling. It's called get underneath these balls here. There we go. And more time in the brothel for that poor lad there. Yeah, fumbles his balls. Absolutely does it there. Gotta love the throwers. All right, well, Frenzy here. Norse, as you can see here, do have a couple of interesting skills developed by this point here. Nice big hit right there. Seriously? What's wrong with me? Yeah, you know, I know what's wrong with you there. It's Elliot Stun. Got, got to get that brain in just the right spot there. Another big hit right there. What's with kids today, huh? No respect. Well, he easily picks up the calico, and here he goes, full Note speed ahead. Note huge breasted typist in the background. Good God! Ah, uh, fuck, that's not enough, is it? No, it's not, excuse me. Oh! Oh, it's gonna burn! It's gonna fucking end! Oh, 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 I think I see what's about to happen there. What the fuck are these two doing this far forward? No, seriously, why are they this far forward? Because the rest of the team's following up. Okay, because we're men, we're men in tights. Is that the idea? Is that the idea? All right, I can live with that. I can live with that. At least I look half as handsome as Panda does, so that's fine right now there. Charges in, gets the takedown there. There's the frenzy. Oh, 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 this is gonna fucking hurt because he's got a bribe. Oh, we know exactly what his fucking game plan is. Read your fucking book, asshole. <laughs> Here we go. I killed everybody. <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. Dig all, roll him in. The little fuck is dead. Oh, God. Bye, Alderaan! See ya! Uh, wouldn't want to fucking be ya! Uh, yeah, I hate to admit it there, that is a bit of nice play right there in the Undead Spotters. Alright, uh, that turns it right around. Big hit right there, gets the takedown. How quickly the tide turns. Paul for carry? He doesn't that. Uh, he's got one, he didn't use it. You don't use all the foul of just a basic lineman like that. You see, he's paying attention. You don't, you don't apothecary linos. Problem is, it's Williams. So Williams ain't giving fuck all right now. He, he's really not calling shite. You know how he is? When he finally calls it, it's just to collect the bribe and call it anyway. Because he's a cunt, that's why. Who knew he was from West Ham United? Just 
just like the rest of them there. Oh, yeah, well, that turns the number of players around there. Now suddenly, let's face it, the Necros have a play advantage now in this game. Solid block on block here, and yeah, the Norse, that's 100% needing to readjust the strategy now at this point here. Necros, though, at this point here, doing quite an interesting containment job here, and now they're going to see, can they get another one? No, seriously, you can see this is exactly what they're trying to do here. Now, immediately the Necros only have the two rerolls right now, so they're trying very hot up there, they go, but... They don't want to foul with these players. I hate to say it, at this point here, I think you've got the bribe. I'd be fucking tempted to at this point here. Because it's working. It's a plus three foul. Alright, fine. I hate to say it there, that's a bit of a necro mistake. I don't want to foul the position. I get that understanding. Alright, I understand that. But you've given yourself a strategy. Embrace it. No, you're not feeling that aggressive? Mm, we'll see. We'll see how the game goes here. Solid block into the zombie there, takes him down here. Norse indeed are oh, readjusting here. I, the Norse, it's a bizarre situation right now here. Because this has just happened here, the Norse are trying to readjust the numbers. Solid block, solid takedown, solid two thirds, a four fifths, a fuck all. Oh, there we go. Got him! You have made me very angry. Very angry indeed. You have indeed. You have angered the loyal panda here. Panda's not happy about that. But, you know, Necros, right back to work we go. Solid hit, solid take down here. Now, if the Necros showed a bit of aggression here, they could go after the ball carrier. I agree it's not perfect. Not by a long shot. But they can use the power of Frenzy and get a later attack in. But... They've got to be willing to take the risk here. But instead, they're doing the peel away. Which is fine right now. They do have a play advantage here. So, solid takedown right there. That's just my viewpoint of it there. You've got the Bill Bexley speed. Use it. All right, Necro's doing the best here to try and cage things up here. Making good use of the stand firm here. Remember, he does have blocks on both flesh golems here. So, yes. There are definitely a bunch of Frankensteins, not Stein, Stein. Got to pronounce his name right. Speaking of. Because here at Globo Gym, we're better than you. And we know it. Starting to feel that way, isn't it there? Well, don't worry. This is Panda you're talking about here. Panda, this lad does not know how to quit. He knows how to get red, ro red, you know, headed breasted women all the time, but he doesn't know how to quit. Oh, la, 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 la. I'm fine, really. Knees feel great, trust me. Alright, here we go. Another solid hit here. Norse not gonna quit this drive here. I hate to say it, the Norse now have one option. And it's Potato. I don't agree with it very well here. No, I really don't. It's not really a good one here. However, if he gets this light up for the screen, we will see if the Necros then play it smart. Oh, good god. They are going for this one here. Rouse a skull, that's fine. I'm not surprised at this point here. You would do. I'm sorry, lad. You would do here. Turn four. The Necros have several options of how to take care of this problem. They do have several options. Question is, will they do it? Remember, they weren't going after the ball carrier. And right now, you can see here, the Norse coach is making them pay for that going. Well, if you're not going to focus on the ball carrier, well then, fuck you. I'm going to go and score. Didn't we have this discussion the last game we cast there? Failure to focus on the ball carrier keeps causing these problems. This is what fucking matters, lad. All right? Yeah. Now, speaking of, there's another takedown right there. There we go. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. There doesn't seem to be any hope. And again, ignore the ball carrier. <sighs> what are you gonna do? Bleed on me? Alright, fine, it's KO. Alright, ah, we're going right back to fouling, because fouling's alright. Fouling's great. Yeah, well. Shame with plus three, you missed. And then you skull that up pretty much there. Well, it's a block, I get it, glass cannons of Norse, but same principle at this point here. Hmm. Alright, Norse turn five. Can you actually afford to stall this? 
I don't know, with hits like that, maybe. Just maybe. But we'll see what he does here. Nope, he's gonna score that. He wants that in there. And yeah, Panda's on the board. One to nil. I had to change it up there. <laughs> oh, God, I love that one. God, I love that one. All right, so let's turn this around here. Let's take a look at the situation here. Well, the Norse are suddenly down to 10 players. They came in with one spare player having a play advantage. Now suddenly they're actually down a player. As you can see here, he's got a reserve now. So... At this point here, I would agree, Necro strategies foul early, foul often. They still have the bribe, because of course it's fucking Williams. You know, that they actually need that. Yep, you see a death right there. But don't worry, he got better. <laughs> That's how it worked. That's how it works. And I don't blame you for not apothecary. There's no point in apothecary that. It's a lino. And there's no guarantee it's going to work that early in the game. You just take it. Besides, you know, you can replace those with Diamond Dozen, can't you there? Hmm, more rerolls that no one's actually needed. No one's needed them at all. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'm saying right now. All right, turn five. All right, if the Necros don't score this, something's fucking wrong with them. <laughs> yeah, I know. You've got Bill Bexley's speed, you've got a play advantage here, and you've got four fucking turns and three rerolls. How can you not fucking score this? Let's find out here. Well, maybe they do score this. For all I know, it's not spoilers. I don't know what the fucking score is. I came in blind. I was just told, call up a Chaos Invitational game. Okay, I did. And here we are. Because I make sure I don't see the spoilers. Makes it far more interesting, doesn't it, there? Makes drunken casting far more fucking interesting. Meanwhile, speaking of... Solid it right there, and yep, AV7 doing a great job now. It's going to make the claw a bit frustrating. Look, the only thing the claw is good for is the Uferfus. It really better be. Remember, Uferfus strength four. Readjusting right there, going in there. What do you mean better than Cadets? Really? Is there something I need to know about Cadets game there? Cadet can speak up for himself later, I bet. Oh, here we go. Foul! Plus three. Did he get him? Yeah, he did, all right. It's early a stun there, but it's Williams. Williams is just sitting there reading a fucking book. <laughs> Williams is doing nothing. Hey, he's not going to fucking call a single thing this game. Just your watch. All right, Uferfa charges in. Gets a nice, get solid hit. Gets solid takedown there. Problem is, again, you got to get the brain in the right spot to actually get a removal, and that's not working there, lad. Not from lack of trying, though. Not from lack of trying here. An interesting play here by Panda. There's nothing wrong with it here. There's actually nothing wrong with it here because he's keeping, and you can see it right there, two free safeties just in case, but making use of the strength four, as we discussed here, to keep these lads pinned. It's not bad play. It's not bad play at all. Norse making do what they can do here, considering that technically the Necro should have Bill Bexley speed. This is... Definitely adjusting for it pretty nicely. All the Necros just aren't exploring the fact that they've got Bill Bexley speed. And they should be fucking using it. Alright, push me, push you. That's fine right there. Necros seem to have stalled here. This is turn six and... Oh! Oh! Well, that's not good at all there. Yeah, I, I'm going to need to figure out what the hell you were thinking there, lad. What the hell are you thinking? Now, merely you've still got two more turns to score this, but you just made your life a lot more awkward. Because let's face it here, the Norse aren't going to let this one slide. Now, admittedly, they've already used the Blitz to get through here, but they're putting all the pressure on the ball carrier. They're basically telling the ball carrier, look, fuck you, you're going this way, all right? 
And there's a nice takedown right there. Help, help, I'm being repressed. Well, he's being repressed, all right. Manual solid power right there. Gets a nice takedown. Still can't break the zombies, though. Again, not from that. Like, like I said, you've got to get the brain in the right spot for it actually to do something. It's tricky, lads. It really is tricky. So he's doing his best. Keeps the player free. Still got the free safety back here. So well played turn by the Norse there. Necros, turn seven. You've still got two fucking rerolls. Your ball needs to be here, lad. Your ball needs to be here. Let's see if he remembers that. And there's an injury right there. Elusive. Evasive. Persistent. Righteous traits for a rogue. Yeah, righteous traits all right there. And that actually puts the Norse into more trouble right now as they're running out of players. All right, charging and goes for the Blitzy. He's trying to get rid of the free safety. Push me, push you. That's fine. And that's not the direction you wanted him, but that's all right. Push me, push you. And he'll make do. And now here he goes. How quickly the tide turns. Would you like to try that again there, Sunshine? Yes, he does. Off he goes. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, he can score. He can score. That is one Vort potato if you've ever seen. Oh, we're going to foul again, are we? There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. What did I say about Williams? Still hasn't fucking called a thing here. And every one of these are breaks, so it's a one in three he's getting called. Nope, it's not calling anything. Fails the dodge. Don't make me drag you out of there. He's going to try that again there. There he goes. Two dice into the werewolf. He got him. He got him. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? Oh, he's going to bleed and bleed hard. All right. Moves over here. Mocks the ball. Well done here. Yeah, moves one more because he's going to help this lad here. More Norse running in. He knows where he... Well, fuck. Don't, 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 don't. My rage is at Nuffle, lad, not you. It's absolutely the correct play, but it's at Nuffle for that one there. And now the pain continues. <laughs> Let those dirty beasts worship the mud now. Yeah, he's worshiping mud, all right. Yeah, it's non dairy. He's definitely chewing it up. And there goes a fucking another one there. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Well, there he goes. Go, 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 go. And there's the score. He gets that one there. We're tied up at one. Oh, well, your halftime score. We are tied up at one this halftime. Of course, it's due to by Captain Marvel Triple X there. More fantastic and certainly by a performer that actually knows how to act and emote there. Captain Marvel Triple X. An actual real film. Check it out, lads. <laughs> Another one of those ads I can't make up if I tried there. I can't make up if I tried. <laughs> he actually sent me a sampler. Because I'm perfectly willing to plug them. <laughs> They're not bad. No, I'm serious. You see the production quality on them. Yeah, really, I'm looking at the costumes. <laughs> oh, you fools. You believe me. Ah, oh, I'm drunk. All right, here we go. Hey, free reroll. That's what we wanted there. Nope. Dead. Well, maybe some of it said. A uh, bit said. Some of it said. A little bit said. Anything said? Sid? Where's Sid? Oh, God, we could have used Sid on this game here. Necros, definitely enjoying a nice, solid play advantage. They're up two players on the pitch right now. The problem is, they're running into a bit of a stall here. You can see now, here's just how the Norse set up here. It's because they're down two players... 
His thinking is he has to try and protect this and wait until an opportunity happens here. Push me, push you. Now, Millie's got four fucking rerolls now. So, we've already seen the panda exploit a weakness. Didn't quite work the way he hoped, but he's tried. So, he's hoping another cocky mistake comes in. He might not be wrong either. You're getting that impression here of this Necro coach. Because right now, this situation here, how can the Necro coach fail to score? And this is why I'm going, hmm, I wonder how it's going to do here. One more drink for the road? Indeed, I can have another drink for the road there. Push me, push you. You look like you could use a drink. I absolutely could use a drink there. You may fire when ready. Ah, uh, this one, that'll do. Cheers, my Lord Emperor Panda. Meanwhile, back to fouling again. Is it dead this time? More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. Notice Williams still hasn't called a fucking thing. Every fucking foul is a one in three. Nope. Williams won't call a fucking thing. That's Williams for you. I heard rumors live our pool is seem like, like a... you could use a drink. Oh, I could use a drink there. Thanks, cadet. Mm. I really filled them. I really did. They're going fast. It's going fast, sir! <laughs> Woohoo! Meanwhile, charging in here. Now, as you can see here, Norse, I, they just don't know how to quit. No, really, I don't even know if he even knows how to spell the word quit. I asked. I'm not sure he knows how to spell it. All right, push me, push you here. Necros. Well, the Necros are getting stuck in a dunny. And again, you can see here, there's some hyper aggression going on here. It's good aggression. It's well played. Does get taken down, though, unfortunately. All right, now the Necros have to realize you're up by two players. Just go for the quick score and fucking win this game here. Yeah, exactly. That's how you spell it. It's spelled with the silent Q. And a very loud, you know, twit. <laughs> The T is silent, currently. Alright, well, he has to reroll that one because, hey, one and nine, it does happen. But then, of course, he gets something out of it. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Oh, well, it's only a stun, it's only a stun. Er, arr, arr. Then he gets yet a fucking another one. A trifling victory. But a victory, nonetheless. Well, yeah, that's definitely a victory the way this is going here. Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are. Yes, you are. Norse, though. Well, again, now they're down by... You can see it. They're down by three players on this drive, and yet they're going to keep on fighting here. Norse trying to contain this one here. Now, if you're the Necros, do you keep stuck in the dying or do you go for the score? At this point here, let's be blunt. You go for the fucking score. Because the Norse aren't going to fucking quit. Well, he's got four rerolls. You might as well reroll that one there. It gets a nice solid hit. And once again, gets the mark to the ball carrier. I uh, look at this! All the way from behind! Sigh. Sloppy. Uh. <laughs> That had to be it right there. Perfect attack rolls a skull. And now more of them are going to get removed from the field here. A death by inches. Uh, it's feeling that way for the Norse right now. It's feeling that way for the Norse here. Push me. Push you here. Necro is continuing to advance it. Now, here's the thing. Go. No, seriously. Go. This is what you do now. You run here. Because none of the Norse are going to catch you. There you go. No problem. Beautifully done. And now the Norse get right back in. So to speak, unfortunately. To the pit. <laughs> this is just getting fucking worse, isn't it? It's getting really bad here. Yep, AV7. I've always called Norse glass fucking cannons. And that's exactly what's fucking starting to happen here. Two dice, push me, push you. Oh, 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 that's a mistake. No, 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 seriously, that's a mistake. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. <sighs> Why? Because you just pushed him closer. Did you not realize you did that? You need to push him this way. No? Oh, well. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. Well, he makes the reroll. Comes in one time. He got him! Woohoo! He got him! Yay yeah, for murder indeed! The Norse aren't out of this one! Norse continuing it relentless! Well, run you little bastard, run! There he goes, makes the dodge. Hey, he makes a mark, it's fine. This is fine! And the, and the Necros are like, what the fuck is this? Necros, you have a five fucking play advantage! Five! You've got five turns. Reorganize your shite. Go score, alright? This should be fucking simple. Yeah, you got one reroll. Wind me a river. Alright, here we go. Solid it right there. Takes him down. That's fair. Uh, you need to move this player down here. Meanwhile, down here. Meanwhile, solid it. Nice little hit. And there goes another one. I hear the sweet sound of death. Alright, here we go. Two dice. Gets the pal, then pick up the fucking ball. Or maybe, maybe not here. A death by inches. Alright, there's the GFI, and we're gonna stall. Alright, we'll stall. Fine, you got a five play advantage. Why not stall here? Well, guess what? You, you do realize it gives the Norse a chance to hit you again. Maybe not. I need to hug a bunny. <laughs> right? Yes! <laughs> Have I mentioned the Norse never fucking quit? Ah, oh, he fails the easy dodge, of course. <laughs> oh, we're apart for carrying that one there. Yay for murder. Oh, God. <laughs> and he loses an AV. Ah, his life is shit, his life is shit, his life is shit, yeah. Ah! He was better off dead, lad, he was better off fucking dead. Alright, turn 13, okay, Necros, alright. Let's see what you can do now here. Dodge, not GF4, he fails the dodge, I don't care. Gerbils could be deadly too, oh, I fucking hope so. All right, Necro Firm, score this. You've got a massive play advantage. You even have an opportunity for a blowout here if you do this correctly here. Is this asking too much? Let's find out here. Two dice, push me, push you. All right, well, it doesn't get it on the first try. Second try. One and nine. Well, he has to re-roll that. Fine. Gets it. Now go get the fucking ball. Right, he's got it. No problem. Nice. Beautiful. Obliterated. <sighs> Meanwhile down here. This is way too many fucking players down here. Don't worry, he's solving that problem. <laughs> Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Oh, look, it's another foul. <laughs> Trust me, it's never going to end there. That absolutely is the right play right there. There it goes, another one. Casting booth. Absolutely disgusted at Williams once again, because yet again, Williams doesn't even reach for the card. Every foul is a one in three ejection, and he's failing every single one of them there. How many Norse are left right now? Four. This is 11 on 4, ladies and gentlemen. Solid block. Hey, he actually broke the armor. You just made the list. He has indeed. Meanwhile, Norse, look at the craziness. It yes! <laughs> You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. And the Norse managed to pop the ball free again. It ain't over till the fat fucking Avling dies, lads. It ain't fucking over. Charges in. Gets the hit! Beautiful! Uh, you should have hit him into the ball, Sunshine. Oh, well, that, 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 that maybe doesn't matter at this point here. Remember, it is now, and you can count it there with me, it is a seven-player advantage for the Necro Firm right now. Seven players! 
So why are you rolling another block? Why? Crap, crap, shit, fuck. I really, really think that sucks. Greed is good for you, is it? Uh, greed is good. Uh, hello? You haven't scored yet? Meanwhile, the Norse. Thank you, sir. He gets the block and he's off and running here. All right, the miracle play. No. Do you like to try that again there, Marigold? Yes, he does. Well, he fails the pick up there. He failed it there. Fantastic. I'm not sure how fantastic that one really is. Arr, arr. But it does achieve the objective. The ball is now in the end zone. Big punch right there. Why is that so important? Because now, if you fail to pick up the ball, it is a 3-8 and eight chance it bounces out of bounds. You got lucky that time, lad. You got lucky. Stupid idiot. Well, he fails to pick up the ball there. He fails to pick up the ball. Well, don't worry. He's going to crack at it here. But here come the Norse again. Push me, push you. Shoves him into the calico. Because where does he want the ball to bounce? Oh! Well, he just solved the fucking problem! Arr, arr, he just solved the problem! You fool! Too nice! And he fails that one! Yeah! <laughs> and the Necros are out the turn! The Necros are out the fucking turn! On a block, they had zero need to really make! Oh god, but then Panda returns favor! The Norse are down! Overtime. Guess what? It's over. It's over. What the fuck did we just watch? Tie score. 1-1. One, one. All right. Let me get this straight here. You have a seven fucking play advantage for multiple turns. And you can't fucking score. Why? Because you're too busy throwing hits rather than fucking scoring. Right. Oh, the dice are a cunt. You had a reroll, and look what you wasted it on. A block you didn't need to make, rather than just securing the ball and scoring. That's the only explanation for you, lad. You lost sight of the objective, and then you had no rerolls. The Norse had nothing to lose by that point. And he had a plethora of rerolls, so of course he never quit and never surrender. So it ends up being a weird 1-1 one, one tie. Oh no, that's going to be analysed for a while there. It really is. It's because risk is the business. The Norse, you can see, did that all game. The payoff is to get a 1-1 one, one tie out of it. The Necros, 7 play advantage with a reroll. How do you then lose focus on what you need to do and score? And score. How oh, kiss I'm nice and horrible. It's even been fucking handed to you there. You could have done a blitz action there with the bastard who had block. And now instead you go and hit with the other one who doesn't have block there. One and nine happens. I, it's it's going to be one hell of an analysis for this one here. One hell of an analysis there. End result there. One, what is your final result there? The best reminder, the Nuffle is truly a cunt. you got to remember that, lad. you got to remember that. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for your support. Uh, definitely thank you for your support there. And I'll be back later on tonight here. 20 hundred hours. Mountain Standard Time for Super Sentai Friday. I'm going to be in great shape because, God, my knees feel great. Nuffle, bless your dice.